To begin, remove the front wheel from the vehicle. Pull the attached lines away from the strut body to remove them from the strut brackets. Remove the bolt holding the brake line bracket to the strut body and disconnect the brake line bracket. Remove the screw holding the sensor bracket to the strut body and pull it away from the strut body to remove. Detach the sway bar end link from the strut body by removing the single nut holding it to the end link tab. Remove the nut and bolt on the back side of the pinch mount. To free the strut from the hub, you'll need to use a strut spreader on the back side of the pinch mount. Insert the strut spreader and twist to the side to release the bottom of the shock. Under the hood, remove the single nut holding the factory suspension to the shock tower and the suspension can now be removed from the vehicle. Using spring compressors, remove the slim nut holding the factory bushing and bearing to the top hat. Place the factory bearing and then bushing onto the Raceline coilover and secure with a factory slim nut. Place the coilover into position into the shock tower Place the factory silver top mount onto the coilover thread and secure with the supplied nut. Lift the hub onto the coilover and remove the strut spreader to clamp the hub into place. Reinstall the nut and bolt on the backside of the hub. Attach the sensor line with the factory screw to the outside of the coilover. Position the brake line bracket into place on the coilover body and reinstall the bolt to secure. Push the removed lines onto the side of the coilover. Attach the end link to the end link tab on the coilover. You can now reinstall the front wheel as the installation for this corner is complete. To begin the rear, remove the wheel from the vehicle. Remove the bolt holding the rear end link and shock bottom to the rear hub. Remove the nut and bolt holding the lower control arm to the hub. The fender liner will need to be removed to gain access to the shock's other mounting point. There are several hex screws in the wheel well. Remove these and pull the liner from the wheel well. Remove the bolt holding the top of the strut to the body of the vehicle. Slide the Raceland coilover shock into position on the body and secure with the factory bolt. Loosen the four bolts holding the trailing arm to the body of the vehicle. It will not be necessary to remove completely, but loosen to allow for the rear spring to be removed. Pull down on the rear hub and remove the spring from its spring seat. Place the Raceland coilover spring onto the spring perch with the adjuster on top against the body of the vehicle and the lower rubber spring insulator against the bottom of the spring. Tighten the four bolts loosened at the front of the trailing arm. Lift the hub and slide the factory bolt through the end link and shock bottom and tighten to the hub. Place the fender liner back into the wheel well and secure with the factory hex screws.
You can now reinstall the rear wheel as the installation for this corner is complete.